Welcome to our weekly look ahead at the markets here with Markets.com. First of all, all eyes on trade tariffs, US and China, with Donald Trump and his counterpart Xi Jinping set to meet uh, on the sidelines of the G20 conference in Osaka in Japan towards the end of the week. Expectations are running a bit high again. We've obviously seen a, a downturn in terms of the relations, some rhetoric uh, about tit for tat, retaliation in terms of tariffs and, and so on. But the, the signal that the Trump and his Chinese counterpart are prepared to talk and that ministers might be meeting on the sidelines as well has raised expectations that we might be in for a trade deal uh, sooner rather than later. But again, it's a case of the market maybe just be reading, reading this as a bit optimistic and there's no chance really that we think of a trade deal being done uh, by the end of the week. But there may just be a little positive signal, maybe some handshakes and something to uh, keep investors happy uh, in terms of trade and tariffs. Following the Federal Reserve's decision last week to leave interest rates on hold, all eyes are on Friday's PCE inflation gauge. That's the Fed's preferred uh, measure of US inflation. And it's not been that strong. In fact, the Federal Reserve has revised its forecasts for 2019 PC core inflation. That's the core number that strips out the volatile elements like energy and food. And it's revised that lower for the year, expecting inflation to remain muted. So we're looking for this number to either suggest that the Fed was right to, to signal that it will remain muted for the rest of the year, or it could surprise on the upside, and that would suggest that the Fed might have been acting too swiftly to change its tune on inflation. That core PC reading from the US is due at 1.30 UK time on Friday. Now, a couple hours ahead of that, 10 o'clock UK time on Friday, we get the reading for the Eurozone inflation uh, print. And that, again, is under a lot of focus. We've seen Eurozone inflation cool quite rapidly in the last couple of months. And again, this lack of inflation is forcing the ECB to signal that it's going to be easier easier, that it's going to cut rates, that it's going to unleash perhaps new quantitative easing program. So again, all eyes on that figure. So a lot of risk uh, for euro dollar in particular on the Friday. So we'll be looking for uh, a potential volatility uh, in the morning with this eurozone inflation print followed by the afternoon session where we get the uh, US inflation print. Staying on the data front, we have a range of US uh, figures out on Friday in the afternoon following the PCE numbers. So Chicago PMI and then the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment. These might uh, start to feed into expectations for what the Q2 GDP print is going to look like. And then ahead of that, we've got things like the CB Consumer Confidence Index on Tuesday and the core durable goods orders uh, on Wednesday. Lately, we've had a lot of central bank action, and this week it's the turn of the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, which was the first G10 central bank to begin cutting rates this year. So we're looking to see whether it sees further cuts needed, whether indeed it cuts again this time, and uh, exactly what it thinks of the economic outlook. We've seen softer uh, Q1 growth. In fact, it's been the slowest pace of uh, economic growth in New Zealand for five years in the first quarter. So that's leaving the door open for more rate cuts. Finally, on the earnings front, there's not a lot of activity happening. We've got the likes of Green King Finals, Serco Trading Update in the UK. And in the US, really the big focus will be on FedEx. Uh, it's been in the news lately for uh, to, in terms of its role in the US-China trade spat. So we'll be looking to see if there's been any impact there. And then we've also got Walgreens Boots Alliance, the retailer, uh, which will be record reporting its quarterly numbers in the coming days. That's all for the week ahead for now. Do check your calendar for your favourite shows on X-Ray.